Okay, I want to show you why you need to be looking at updates and reading the release notes when they came out. Uh, new version came out today, 2023 ISP1 came out. And if you don't go read those release notes, you, you, miss, you may miss some gems that are in there. And there's a really nice one in this one. So I thought I'd do a video on I'm going to show you how to go look at the release notes. Then I'm going to show you the little gem that is in this one, and then I want to go demonstrate how to use it. So I'm on Tecla, Tecla's download page. I'm going to go to Tecla PowerFab Suite, hit download here, and it's going to take me over where I can choose my version. And I'm just going to hit all downloads right here. And it's going to take me over, and here was the original release. Here's the service pack. Um, so right here is release notes. So if you hit release notes next to a version, and on this one, you can read down through here, and I really highly suggest you read all, all of this. You'll find fixes in here. You will find um, new features. There is one really, really cool one right here, especially for people that are subbing out work. Um, this could be really, really valuable. So in production control, a new menu, menu option, export, Export to PFXT has been added for exporting to a PFXT file that can include both the drawing and CNC files relevant to the export assemblies. Super, super cool. Um, if you're using a KISS file, you may not understand the significance of this. Please get away from using KISS files. It is, you need to be using this PF, PFXT or it come, um, often comes in a zip file, but it basically has XML drawings and CNC files all in it in one shot. Um, and here we now have an option to export out of production control into a PFXT file, which you can then share with another fabricator and they could import into production control on their end. All the drawings, all the CNC files come in super, super helpful. So let's go over here and I'm in a production control job. Let's say that I'm, I'm subbing out sequence two and I want to get those files over to them. Very often, or it might be a part of sequence two, which happens a lot at a lot of my clients, where they'll have just a part of a release that they're farming out to um, somebody else. And so, um, you know, you, when you import in the, the, the file from the detailer, you want to sometimes sub out just a portion of that. So what you can do, you go up here to production control now, I've already updated, so now we see this export to PFXT right here. So I'll go export to PFXT. Then I have a option to filter. So I'm just going to say sequence two. And of course, I could set any other filters I want to get down to any further um, smaller grouping that I want to. I'll just say all of sequence two in this case. I'm going to go export. Include drawings, include CNC. So I'm going to go export here. I'm going to put it in the downloads folder. Go save. You'll see this go away. Then we're going to go look at it here in a minute. And let's go to downloads. And you're going to see it. Here's my PFXT file. Now, you can open this. I'm going to go just change the file extension to, to zip. And if you open it now, you're going to see the XML file here which is all the data that's going to populate um, production control. You got your drawings um, in here for that entire sequence. And then you also have CNC files in here for that entire sequence as well. Super, super helpful. Huge kudos to, to Tecla. This has been needed. Um, you guys need to read those release notes when they come out or you're going to miss stuff like this. And this can be save hours and hours and save a lot of heartache and stuff like this. So uh, read those release notes, go download 2022, uh, or excuse me, 2023 ISP1, very stable release from what I, from what I have experienced so far. So go download it, use it, and use Tecla to your, to your as highest ability as you can. It really works for you. Hope this helps you. Let me know if you've got any questions.